people, welcome to Inverse Adventures. So today we thought we'd do something a little bit different. Uh, we are currently um, parked up at Mai Tai Bay in Northland. Thought we'd do a bit of a caravan review today on uh, our caravan and what we think about it. Maybe what we like and maybe what we don't like. Um, and hopefully if you're in the market for a van, this sort of might point you in a direction or something if, if that's what you're after or not. But uh, anyway, so we're looking for a van that basically we could live off grid with. And plenty of solar, inverter, run some run some appliances, etc. And we did a lot of research. We discovered these guys online, inside out RV. And we ended up going with a next generation caravan, the model detector po. So I'll give you a bit of a rundown of features we have on it so they do come with a standard table um, however as an upgrade we've got a DO35 coupling now this is fairly, these are fairly new to New Zealand um, this particular one is an off-road off-road hitch so it's supposed to be a true off-road hitch so it articulates that way 365 and also articulates this way now how it works you don't have your standard table so you have these this recess here which is a pin okay the pin comes up into there clip it down and the idea is that it can't come off so i mean if you're unfortunate and you do have an accident um the idea is that in theory if your van tips over you know this will spin around but you hopefully you get still staying upright um one other bonus of these is they're fairly new to new zealand and you can't you can't steal them with a standard towable so that's a bit of a safety feature and you can get these pins basically which just drop from there lock it on the bottom and that um, theoretically is another safety feature about them now we've got chains on this now in New Zealand you can sit here and argue um, they're, not, they're not necessary in New Zealand however I use chains they come with the vans just another safety feature um, and you've got your breakaway this is what we require in New Zealand however the way I see it, it makes one of sense to me that um, I would run. You would run with both. One thing you do need to remember, if you are running with both, is this needs to be shorter than your chains. So the whole point of it is when this snaps off, if it comes off the back of your Ute, okay, this will pull out and puts the electronic brakes on on your vehicle, okay, and the chains you crisscross them, and the idea is that this will fall off and drop into a bit of a cradle. And you can pull it up safely that's the that's the idea there so we actually got this um vehicle fitted with a white eye anti-theft system okay and it is gps tracked and alarmed so that's a pretty good feature for us it also runs with bluetooth braking now this might, might be new to some people but there's no cables for the bluetooth we have an anderson plug for charging we have a camera for the rear camera connection and we have the 12 pin plug but the bluetooth braking basically there's videos out on it um but it's quite a cool system ute uh, talks to the system inside the van here and when you brake it brakes and you can control it just like any other controller so google those um the white eye braking system they're, they're really good so basically we've got this added extra it's a um lpg storage so there's two nine kilo gas bottles on this side on the slider and this side over here, I'll open it up and show you. This is the toolbox, okay. Basically, I've got some tools in there, some blocks of wood for under the thing, and I've got a spare toilet cassette. Um, so you can put whatever you want in them, but that is an additional. Now on this one here, the first tunnel boot. These tunnel boots go right the way through the van. And uh, as you can see, lots of storage in there. And I have a barbecue. So it's on a slider out here okay i've got a barbie lots of storage in there you've got your um, tire irons and all in there and then there's your plate manufacturer's plate over there stating all the weights of the vehicle etc so we do have well we did have <laughs> an awning uh we had a bit of a accident happen with our warning uh, a, bit of a, freak, a bit of a freak storm came through and um damaged our warning um, however you have these things uh, they happen 
and we're working with Inside Out RV and the insurance company and they've been very helpful. Um, so we will have a new awning on here very shortly. Three lights all the way along, outdoor speakers, you've got a cigarette lighter for outside, you have um, 12 volt power for out here and you have a barbecue table here so this just drops down. So I'll show you this, just drops down like that and you have um, LED lights which is pretty cool. I'll leave that down for now. So it does come um, with 15 inch um, off-road tires and it actually van travels very nicely. And so the door system is uh, two-way so you do have um, security mesh here, fly screen and if you want to clip it together basically the door shuts like that unhinge it from the back and you have the closed door okay so that's a pretty cool feature in itself um, and pretty easy to open that's your back twist this pop that open job done okay so that's pretty handy uh, it's got outdoor light so light comes on there um, and then you also have in the first button can't really see it because it's daytime but you have a blue light down here that's just designed to not attract, attract mosquitoes, etc. at night time. Now the rear tunnel boot. This tunnel boot goes all the way through as well. Yeah, excuse the mess. We have the van is just living. We haven't uh, tidied it up for this video. We thought we'd just show you what it's like living in this van. Um, so tunnel boot goes right the way through. And in there we have a 3000 watt converter. And we also have a diesel heater. Now um, these are brilliant. So we've only just started to use it, started to cool down a bit, so in the mornings we flick it on or at night time. Um, and they're actually quite efficient and brilliant, brilliant way of heating. Okay, so on the back of the van, speaking of diesel heaters, there's the diesel tank. I've heard you can run it for like 12 hours or more on like a 250 mils of diesel, so I think a pretty efficient little thing. Um, we've run it a few times and the line's hardly even gone down on it, so that's pretty handy. Um, rear bumper arm, spare tyre, now we actually just chuck this rubbish bag on the back, this is just when you're off grid living, um, it's just a thing you buy online, and you can just store your uh, rubbish bags in there until you've got somewhere to dump them. Um, so we've got a bike rack um, tongue, a hitch piece goes in there, and um, we, we've taken it off at the moment because we haven't got a box with it. Now these models, um, they come standard with a reversing camera okay now one thing i got done with it when when we had it fitted uh, i talked to the auto sparky and i actually had it wired up so that it goes um the entire time of driving not just when you're reversing and i think it's fantastic probably the best thing i did um because you can see uh, motorbikes cyclists or stuff come up behind you um just when you're driving and it's a really really good safety feature so if you're looking at getting one connected, talk to Sparky and see if the model can do it that, uh, have it going the entire time, it's well worth it. Um, this side of the van, so another red tunnel boot, which of course goes all the way through, same as the other side, Put that down, and then this side here I basically store um, grey water and black water hose etc, stuff like that, um, and just some fishing gear and whatnot in there, fresh water hose etc. So two 95 litre fresh water tanks, so it's instant hot water, gas, and so the shower just pulls out and it's just hot and cold. Now we have two 100 amp hour lithium batteries, which we find to be pretty good, and to go with that we have 370 watt um, solar panels, so what's that, 510 watts of solar. We have a three way fridge, so it is gas, it is run off the inverter and it is run off mains power. So it needs to be vented, so gas vent, um, vent there as well as a vent at the top of the van up there, to stop condensation and stuff like that. Now we have power in, so we have the socket when you plug it into mains power. We have a Dometic toilet, a cassette toilet, and I think it's about 13 litres they are, no I've got two of them, um, and so they seem to work pretty good. And then to go with the 180 litres of fresh water, we have 108 litres of grey water, which one seems to last like quite a, quite a period of time. We can get quite a few days out of that. And then the front tunnel boot. 
so I think we talked about this this one just goes all the way through and basically it's just storage so we chose all the colors um, we chose we basically chose the red etc to go with the ute um, now the vehicle of choice um, well we actually had this vehicle before but I purchased it because I had a boat and I needed to tow stuff now we've gone with uh, Holden Colorado um, and I think you know there's uh, love to go with a Ram or a Land Cruiser but I think just the cost of those is cost prohibitive um, this is three and a half ton tow rating and it seems to do the job pretty well um, seems to have quite a bit of power and it is Tiptronic Auto and so you just can just drive it um, and basically manual and hold it in the gears so one thing I do really like about the Colorado it has on the computer functions you can go to the automatic transmission and it will tell you the automatic uh, temperature so when you're towing um, you want to try and keep your transmission sort of under 100 degrees so you don't cook anything that's usually how they get damaged and keeping it in manual and you're controlling the gears better it's not shifting through the gears hunting hunting gears all the time and we can keep the temperature around if you're doing um, hill work in the low 90s which is pretty good so I find that to be pretty beneficial and hopefully over time we'll save any transmissions getting wrecked but yeah um, Colorado does seem to do a pretty good job I probably wouldn't go anything smaller than a Colorado I mean it's a 2.8 turbo I mean the the 3.2 Ranger probably do the job well or the BT50 um, they all seem to do the job but ideally you'd want a bigger truck um, if you had the funds to to run it which we don't now to take you inside and show you the layout what we've got inside here uh, this is doing some work on the computer so this is the inside so uh, good thing about the um, inside out RV caravans is you can choose all your colors in the interior um, so my wife did all the color choosing because it's not really my thing however I think she did a pretty good job and I'll run through some of the some of the features so the club lounge is the reason we liked this caravan because it has a lot of room at the back um, and you don't feel like you're cramped at any time to be honest this table um, you pull a button and that table moves everywhere it also drops down um, and they've got a cushion under the oh, it's in the back of the ute actually and it forms a bed um, so you have a have a bed if you have someone else over the state um, storage everywhere right through the van all these cupboards you choose your latches you choose your colors everything um, all the way around um, there um, lots of storage all the way along in the van um, so we actually chose all these colors she went with the white which is uh, looks like leather it's not leather um, and I was a bit worried about that to start with because of the colors but actually it's brilliant um, you just get a wet rag and wipe it off and there's no marks it's brilliant yeah and so the tunnel boots can be accessed from in here so you just lift up the seat and there you go lift up the clip and down on so that actually goes all the way around they're very handy um so diesel heater so there's the controls for the diesel heater just down here and the air intake for the diesel heater um so we've actually uh a bit of a luxury and got a uh proper coffee machine and uh, man this makes life pretty good wife did a barista course so we're laughing great coffees uh it has a 4 kg dometic um, front loader washing machine which is really really good uses quite a bit of water so you have to be careful where and where you use it um however it doesn't use all that much power um even with the inverter running if you're just off grid um it uses maximum of five percent battery capacity on a, um, wash. on a cold wash you yeah, haven't done a hot wash yet so that'd be a bit bit uh, different i would imagine because you're hitting elements but so storage so obviously lots of cupboards all the way down through there uh pantry so two slide out pantries and these are great quite deep pantries so one two and then just the cupboard down the bottom okay um 186 litre dometic three-way fridge so um to run on mains on gas um and on inverter uh, power when you're off grid um storage compartment and then down the bottom here we have a little water pump which is really quite powerful for a little pump and on this side 
um, we have kitchen so shows all the colors the flooring everything the black shows all the handles so lots of space lots of space everywhere through the van um, we upgraded to the black so you can get uh, comes in standard stainless color but we decided to go with our graded black um, has a gas oven so gas oven here now the wall gas no electric um, have a grill there and then an oven down there which actually we've been using a lot of lately it's been really good um, and then above that we have the extractor which is your normal extractor fan like you have at home with quite a few lights um, speaking of lights all the way down the van keeps the lights now we come down here into the bathroom so one, one of the reasons we like this fan is the separate off in the doors so you can separate sections if you don't want to be if someone wants to go to bed early or get up early and have a coffee whatever um, keeps the noise down uh, so toilet cassette which is a Dometic toilet um, ceramic sink with the upgraded colors um, fan um, you've got um roof fence in here through here you have got a full size shower so I'm basically six foot four and if you scoot around look at my head I've still got room uh, that's one thing I liked about this van the only place I have to duck is these two little doorways um, you can get these extended by 50 mils but I didn't need to um, so in here full size shower um, has a vent, vent at the top you can open and then turn the extractor fan either on either in or out whatever you're doing um, it's pretty good and that seems to heat up quite quickly nice and warm and then the bedroom so the bedroom in here is pretty good nice comfy the bed is um, six foot four it has a, uh, a bolster little mattress at the top which you just flip up in the daytime if you want it takes 10 seconds to do and then you just pull the bed out at the bottom just pull it out and then you've got a six foot four bed uh, cupboards storage so you have um, cupboards all the way down the side um, USB um, charging ports in there there's a hole that goes through so you can grab the stuff out of there or if you open up in here so we chose um, hanging in here you can get um, shelves whatever you want whatever you want to do um, we chose that the electronics for the inverter setup and what etc there so you close all this off it just gives you that extra space and uh what do you think babe? what are your thoughts yep that's good very comfortable um really spacious don't feel like you're tripping over each other or crammed in um yeah just lots of storage yeah just don't definitely don't feel like you're doing it hard don't even really feel like you're camping you just kind of <laughs> yeah definitely feel like you're in a tiny home small house so, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah yeah i mean getting used to when you're not plugged in and you're on battery being aware of how much power you're using for different things and yeah there's definitely things you have to adjust to that are different to living in a house but um yeah pretty a lot better than going holidaying in our tent like we used yeah, to do absolutely um certainly a lot more creature comforts than being in a tent um but yeah um definitely not too too hard to work no nah, not at all and speaking of power i actually forgot to say we have a red arc um red vision controller here so because we're currently plugged into mains so i wasn't even thinking about it but um yep so that controls everything and you can go through all your different functions and whatnot but um it takes a little bit to get used to but uh we're finding the solar really good um even if we you know go using the solar um using just off grid um, we find that the coffee machine uses about five percent of power um used for running the inverter to make some coffees um but to be fair it doesn't take very long to charge again in the sun um in fact you don't even need sun you just need it not to be pouring with rain um, it'll you'll still get 18 volts coming in um, even when it's overcast so finding it to be pretty efficient so it's all a bit to learn about that yet um, but anyway back to the caravan so if you guys are looking for a van um, check out inside out RV um, and I'm sure uh, they'll be able to sort you out so um, it's a good product so I'm more than happy to stand behind it um, I think it's uh, it was a great choice 
and um, so far we're we're loving it so yeah see you next time Thank you.